Hey everyone, it's Kaylee here, and in this video, I'm going to quickly showcase the auto adjust feature in StarNet. So the first half of the video, I'm going to do a StarNet adjustment um, the manual way. And in the second half of the video, I'm going to use the auto adjust feature and show you the benefits of using um, that function within our StarNet software. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's get right into the first example, which is going to be running the StarNet adjustment without using the auto adjust feature. So you're gonna to wanna to open the program, open the project. I already have a project here with all of the um, input data files already brought in. I just want to quickly go into my project options and um, browse to the correct geoid model. Once I have that applied, I'm going to um, adjust my network. So you can see here that it has exceeded the upper bounds of the chi-squared test, so we have failed. Um, I just want to open up my output here and I can scroll down to the um, statistical summary here and we can have a look at our results. So I can see here that um, the re standard residuals of the angles and the zeniths are kind of uh, noteworthy. Um, they have the largest error factors. So those are the areas that I'm going to want to look in to, um, to try to pinpoint what's going on with our, uh, with our network here. So another setting that you might want to double check if you don't have this set up that's super handy is um, go into your project options, go under listing options. In there, you will have the option to sort your adjusted observations by standard residual. And this makes it a little easy, easier for you so you don't have to go digging and looking for those huge errors. Um, so we see here that we've got um, a couple standard residuals here that have asterisks by them. So that means that those are the ones that uh, something is wrong with these. Uh, they're standing out. We've got this first setup which looks like it's on 11. Um, now, if you look here on the side where it says file and line, that means that that observation can be found in line 78. And if we put a pound sign, that comments that out. And what that does is that will um, make it so if you run the adjustment again, it will do it without using that observation. And then we can see what our results are. So we eliminated that first observation from our adjustment and ran it again. And uh, we can see that we're still exceeding that upper bound. Um, so, you know, we can try a variety of things. We can just try eliminating that setup altogether and running the adjustment and seeing what happens. Really depends on the job. If you were the one who did the actual survey, you might be able to have a little bit more insight into what is actually happening with the data. In this example, I'm just going to kind of work my way down through the observations here and just kind of comment out the ones that are kind of like-minded. So yeah, if you have any experience using Sternet, you know it's just going through this data and looking for patterns to emerge, looking to see which points are affected, uh, looking to see which setups are affected and just keep looking at the highest standard residual and making these adjustments until we get it to pass the chi-squared test. Okay, so now we are going to look at uh, the same data set, only now we're going to use the auto adjust feature. So I'm going to open my program. I'm going to attach my geoid model. And then I'm going to come up here to the top and hit this red button with the A. And that runs an automatic adjustment. You can kind of set the parameters here for the auto adjust. So you can see here, the adjustment will remove the top outliers, readjust and continue until all values fall below the maximum standard residuals or the maximum adjustments are reached. Check adjusted values thoroughly. So let's hit start. So what auto adjust is going to do is it's going to look at all the results. It's going to look at the adjustments with the highest standard residual 
and it's going to comment those out automatically or omit them from the adjustment. It's going to rerun the adjustment and it's gonna keep doing this until it passes the chi-squared test or until the maximum amounts of adjustments have been done. So you can see how quick that was as opposed to us going down into each section and manually commenting out each line. But just because it's auto adjusted doesn't mean that your work is done. So you still have to go into here on your output and you can scroll down to the auto adjustment observations removed. So this is going to give you a listing of all of the observations that um, the auto adjustment basically commented out. You're still going to have to look for your patterns and your results to figure out where the error occurred. So. So it tells you the standard residual, it tells you the line that it was on, and um, all the information here. So we can see these are all the same lines that we commented out manually in the last section, but it just did them all automatically. So it saves you a ton of time. Um, you still have to use your brain, you're not out of the woods yet, but you can see how the auto adjust tool is just an absolute lifesaver when it comes to um, the amount of time that you'd be able to save working through decent size adjustments. Okay, so that is it for this video. I hope that you learned something. I hope that you will use the auto adjust feature in your next StarNet project and it will save you a ton of time and uh, you won't know how you lived your life without it up until this point. So thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Happy adjusting. Bye for now.